My favorite time of the year is back, my friends. It is time for the Sephora sale. I do love to film these videos twice a year when the Sephora sale comes around because I think it's important to pick out the best of the best, the top picks, the top recommendations, show you some of the things that I'm buying, some things that I'm loving amidst the plethora of product that we are constantly seeing and that's constantly launched. So I feel like it's nice to be able to pick through the weeds, pick the top favorites, and it's my favorite time of the year to do so. And I know that not everyone here has the option to shop the Sephora sales. So for those of you who are in other areas in the globe, just know that I always have my cult beauty discount code, CVXLANA, which you can use. And I have so many of my favorites that are on there as well. And I also have my discount code on the nude sticks website, which obviously there's always going to be some nude sticks faves in here. So for some of those, you can use that discount and that happens all the time. You don't need to wait for a sale for those. So I'm just tossing it out there. You've got some options over here. And as always, all the products, all my favorites, all my list things will be listed in the description box down below. If you wanted to check those out. Obviously, I'm going to go through some of my favorites here. I'm going to show you some things that I have already purchased, my top picks, things that I'm scoping out. I'm going to show you some of my like constant favorites, a few things that I've been gifted as well. And then I also wanted to show you a few holiday sets that I was actually really excited about. So lots to cover here, my friends. And let's dive right in. Now, always for the Sephora sale, I'm always stocking up on the things that I'm using the most. I always stock up on my skincare, my brow products, my mascara, the things that I'm consistently using on a daily basis in my makeup bag. Love to stock up and save some coin and obviously depending on what your level is through the Sephora savings thing, you can get up to 20% off. 20% off is huge when you're buying your daily use products. And especially for me, the Sephora sale always comes around right before Landmas. So I always stock up on the products for giveaways. So obviously I'm not showing you my giveaway things, but let me show you a few things that I picked up. Uh, I love the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray. And I actually saw that they had this lovely little duo. Now I do love to purchase my travel size things, so I'm probably gonna have to buy a full size regardless, but they had a little duo set for the holiday sets and I thought that was great. It was like a little two for one. I go through these like water. I'm constantly needing to restock. So this was an amazing little duo. So I picked that up. thought that was very cute. I picked up a refill of my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I get this one in the shade three. Always need to stock up. I had actually just bought uh, my brow gel, but that's always something I stock up too. Then I got a backup of my Lancome Hypnose Mascara in brown. So I just wanted to tell you that that is there, but also YSL has a little duo of the Lash Class Mascara. So I might pick that up too. I have to, I'm gonna see if I'm gonna add that to my cart. I always stock up on my Caudalie cleansing oil. This is something I always, always have on me, always. Cannot be without it. Now, a couple of fun, colorful things that I picked up. I was actually really excited about this because I had gone back, I was going back and scrolling through some old makeup looks that I've done because there was a hot minute where I was posting some fun makeup looks and I was trying to get re-inspired, see what kind of colors I was excited about. And I went back to the full face of Danessa Myrick's video that I had done and I saw my color fix nudes and I was like, wow, I totally forgot about these. They've literally been sitting collecting dust in my drawer and it made me very sad and I wanted to pull them back out. And I actually have the shade Celebration and the shade Nude 10 and these are so so beautiful. They're multi-use products. You can put them all over. I wanted to pick up a lighter shade. So I actually went and got the shade eight nude eight. And these are so beautiful. And 10 is like a really gorgeous, rich chocolate. And I wanted to just get the slightly lighter, more kind of cool toned version for my everyday makeup for fall and winter. And I just feel like Danessa Myricks is amazing and I love everything she touches. And so I picked up another one of these nude color fix pigments. I picked up another shade of the Armani Prisma glass lip glosses. I got this one in the shade seven and this was on Susie's recommendation. Now I have my favorites from the Prisma glass, but when I saw her in Ibiza for her wedding, I was like, Susie, what is on your lips? And she was like, it is this gloss and it looked so good. And I don't understand why I hadn't clued into the existence of this shade before, but it's this beautiful kind of neutral, really light gloss, but there's this really beautiful pink reflect in there. And I was like, get on my lips immediately. So Susie, this one's for you. I was immediately influenced and I had to pick this up instantly. So the number seven Prisma glass, you guys know I love those so much. And then some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes ever are the Makeup and Mario palettes. I think that's like my top recommendation all the time. If you're looking for a perfect neutral everyday eyeshadow palette, something that you can use to glam up, I think that the Makeup by Mario and the Patrick Ta palettes are just gorgeous across the board. If you can find a little color story that you're inspired by, they are some of my favorites. And I have to say that the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes has been my favorite for some time. And I love all of the mattes in here, but I also really love the shimmers. They're so, so gorgeous. 
I actually put this one on my eyes today. And it's so beautiful, I can't get enough of this. This is like forever in my daily rotation. So even though I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow, I don't play a lot with eyeshadow, for some reason with certain brands, it's just like a Pokemon gotta catch them all. I don't know what it is. So I saw that Makeup by Mario came out with the Ethereal Eyes Moonlight Edition. I was like, listen, <laughs> listen. Sin. I have done the biggest declutter ever of my makeup collection. Like I got rid of so many eyeshadow palettes, but I just had to pick this up. We're getting a first visual together, okay? This is the Moonlight palette. Oh, baby, she's beautiful. And I just thought going into the holiday season, doing lots of holiday looks, glam looks, I had to pick this up. And I was also very inspired by the blue and the gray tones in here. And the shimmers look absolutely stunning. Oh, I am so, so excited about this. It's so funny because now that I'm staring at these side by side, I thought that the ethereal eyes was so much cooler, but next to this, it's very warm. So look at that. How beautiful are these palettes? Absolutely stunning. These are like some of my favorite formulas ever. I love the shimmers and I had to pick it up. I had to get Moonlight. So that's a little fun, colorful, new in palette. And I can't wait to play with it coming up, especially for the holiday season. Now, speaking of eyeshadow products, I have to say, I've been a little bit confuzzled because I was certain that long, long ago, Patrick Ta had announced these eyeshadow duos. And I'm like, am I making this up? Am I insane? I could have sworn he went to launch these like last year because I was waiting. I was so excited to get these. But Patrick Ta had announced these little lovely little sparkly eyeshadow duos. And I was so excited because I love to put a little shimmery shadow onto my eyes all day, every day. It's my favorite go-to look. And I think Patrick Ta, much like Makeup by Mario, everything they touch is gold and beautiful and perfect. So he had announced these and then, I don't know, they never came out. Maybe they had come out limited edition, whatever. Either way, he has relaunched them. And I joined the wait list on his website and I ordered them on his website. So I think that they are coming to Sephora. Maybe the time this video actually goes up, they will already be on Sephora. But I just wanted to say, I am very interested that the shades look beautiful. I loved the videos. Like he was being roasted on TikTok by so many people talking about the price of these eyeshadow duos. And then I love that he hopped on and like did a price comparison of other comparable products, showed how beautiful the formula is, how stunning. And I was like, listen, I'm, I'm sold. I'm buying them anyway. But I just wanted to say that they are gonna be included, I hope, in my favorites because they look so stunning and they look right up my alley. So even though I don't technically have them here to show you, I just wanted you to know I have ordered them. And if they're on Sephora, I would hop right in there if you can get your hands on them because they look glorious and I can't wait. I also wanted to say that I haven't picked this up yet, but during the Sephora sale, I usually try and stock up on any of my fragrances that I've used up. And I was laughing to myself because I am the biggest Tom Ford ombre leather fan. Truly, truly for years and years and years, ever since the first time I sniffed this, whether it's the OG, the more intense or the body spray, I've got them all. This was my wedding fragrance. I'm obsessed. It's one of my go-to most worn fragrances ever. This, Replica by the Fireplace, Malin and Getz Leather, so many of the maker fragrances, Aurabella, you name it. Like these are right up my alley. So when I saw that they launched a new team member of the Ombre Leather family, I was so excited, went and sniffed it and I was going to pick it up during the sale. I was like, yes, new Ombre Leather, no problem. I'm gonna go by that immediately. The new one, is it Eau de Toilette? I can't remember which, but it's completely different. It is not in line with the Ombre Leather family whatsoever. It's actually like super sweet, very vanilla. It's not really a part of my preferred scent profile. So I just wanted to say for all my Ombre Leather fans out there, the new one is, is not the same. It is not the same, but I haven't purchased it yet, but I am almost out of this and I'm in denial because this was my wedding fragrance. I feel like I need to put it in like a little memory box and let it live, but I need to repurchase this. So the Tom Ford fragrances are so expensive. So I'm definitely utilizing the sale for that one. Big fan and love to save some coin if I can on a fragrance purchase. Now, I also wanted to mention a few things that I've been very kindly sent in PR, perhaps some things that I would have picked up anyway, or just some other little exciting updates. I got this little box in from Clinique, which is very sweet. This is more black honey in the hive, but it was really funny that they sent this over because you guys know how much I have raved about the black honey lip oil. I had bought it on the Clinique website. It was a limited edition product. It was nowhere to be found, nowhere to be seen. And then they sent this cutie little thing, including the black honey lip oil, which is such a gorgeous shade and said new from the black honey collection joining the hive just in time for the sephora savings event in november so this is the clinique pop lip and cheek oil and i just wanted to say because i had raved about it apparently allegedly according to this pr package that i got it will in fact be restocked and included just in time for the sale which is very sweet so very exciting news on that front thank you so much to clinique another very exciting update on the nude sticks front you guys know how much I love the Boss Babe Eye Lights product that they came out in 
their stacks lineup. It is so gorgeous. Beautiful shimmer, but it is not available at Sephora. It's exclusive to Nude Sticks and some of the other sites. Like you can get it on Nude Sticks, Cult Beauty, and Selfridges, I believe. They did a cutie little set with Boss Babe for some of their retailers. So the Sephora set, the new Stax Eyelight set, very cute. I guess they're not selling the eyelights individually. I don't know if that has to do with the packaging or what, but they have come out with a three piece set, three different shades of the eyelights. And this is really gorgeous formula. The Stax formula is like cream to powder, super gorgeous. This looks like little glittery bits on your eyes. And they have three different shades in this little Stax lineup. So that's very exciting. So it's not Boss Babe specifically, but they do have three shades of the eyelights that are going to be available at Sephora and also in time for the sale. So that's very exciting. New little update from Nude Sticks. And then I got a few skincare refills from some of my faves. The Biosance team sent a refill of the Overnight Rescue, which I love so much. And I had literally just used this up, which was so perfect. Definitely gonna need this as a night cream going into the colder weather. So Biosance, love you so much. Thank you. And then I also got a refill of my Glow Recipe Avocado Cleanser. Oh, I, how I adore this so much. It is so good. One of my favorite cleansers of all time. I always restart stock this and I always restock my travel size. So must have that on hand. Bless up. Thank you, Glow Recipe. And then Necessary sent a giant tub of their body lotion. They sent this in the eucalyptus scent. And I think going into the sale, I might consider picking up the Centel scent because that's my favorite, but jumbo body lotion, absolutely necessary. My skin is so dry all over my body and the packaging is so stunning. I'm probably gonna restock my travel size of the body wash as well because I take that with me on all of my travels and love to save a couple dollars on that too. Now I've already mentioned a couple of the holiday sets that I've been loving, like the Charlotte Tilbury ones, the YSL Lash Clash mascara ones. And to be honest, a lot of the holiday sets I find kind of like meh, but I actually feel like there's a lot of really great holiday sets this year. So a few of them I've already mentioned. Merit also had a really nice little holiday set with their blush bombs, which I thought was really pretty. I love the shade Stockholm and they have a little three piece holiday set, which I think is so great, especially if you're either stocking up on your favorites or if you're wanting to try a few favorites from brands, I think it's a really nice way to save a couple dollars. Love to see that, it was so pretty. I also really love the Makeup Forever sets that they did this year. They came out with their blush and glow palette, which I'm a little bit torn I didn't want to open it because I was like, oh, I could save this for a giveaway. Like I have my face essentials palette from them, which is so beautiful. And I love this. I love the formula, but this one has the highlights in it too. So I was like, oh, I'm so torn. But either way, this was like a part of their holiday collection, which I think is so great. Love these palettes. They're incredible. If you love to travel with a lot of options or you like the cream formula, they also came out with their artist pencil minis. So if you've never tried the artist pencils or you wanted to try a few of the favorites, they kind of took like a really good selection of the favorites and put them in this little set, this little mini set, which I think is so great, especially if you use them on the daily and you go through them really quickly. I thought this was fantastic and so beautiful. Um, I have like all of the Laura Mercier <laughs> caviar eye pencils, so I didn't want to buy any of these, but Laura Mercier has so many little sets of their eye pencils and I love Coco. It's one of my favorites of all time. And to have the little minis, so cute to put in your everyday makeup bag or to travel with. So they have some really good sets. They also always do a really beautiful job with all of their like body care holiday sets, which is nice. Now, as far as my top recommendations, my favorite products go, you guys know what's on the list. I update you with my everyday makeup <laughs> looks often enough that you probably know what's on there, but just in case you're new or if you wanted to have a little refresher, I'm gonna create an all encompassing list and I'm gonna link it down below for you so you can see all of my favorites that are kind of always in the rotation. The things that I love the most that are always in my everyday makeup bag. There's always a few standout products, obviously. The makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer, the makeup by Mario Loose Setting Powder, which has been filling our little Givenchy void, which is beautiful. The Sephora Reveal the Real Skin Tint has been like the newest addition to the everyday makeup loves so good. I'm also loving so much the Tower 28 Serum Concealer. I think the shade match has been so perfect, especially going into my more pale fall and winter skin. Obviously I always have to include my Nude Sticks Picante Blush, the blush I created with Nude Sticks. It's always a good time to be able to save if you wanted a little restock or if you've never tried it. It is always in my makeup rotation, obviously, but I also always have my all a discount code on the Nude Sticks website that you can use at any time. And also the new Nude Sticks Stax blushes, which has my little Picante's baby sister, Picante Nude in. So this always, as well as the new eyelights are 
absolutely gorgeous and going to probably forever be in my makeup bag as long as it exists. <laughs> also really loving Nude Sticks Nude Buff, which has kind of been a little go-to everyday blush this fall. It's a little bit of a bronzer, a little bit of a warmer tone than I typically go for for my everyday makeup. Westman Atelier Nectar, I've been obsessed with this highlight, using it absolutely every day. I feel like this was a mini that I had gotten in some set, so maybe keep your eyes peeled on some Westman Atelier sets as well. If I see any other holiday sets, I'll include them in my little favorites roundup. The Armani Eye Tints, so good if you're looking for a foolproof everyday cream eyeshadow. The Sephora Collection Lip Liners, the shade Nudist, has been amazing. I have been loving wearing that on the daily. I also have to give a shout out to the Summer Fridays Rosewood Nights Lip Oil because I have been loving this shade so much. It's been so good for my everyday lip product. Love the color. Oh, it's so good. Also the Bobbi Brown Bare Lilac for a lighter version. I can't get enough of this color, this beautiful, cool toned, like true lilac shade. It makes my teeth look white. It makes my eyes look bright. I'm obsessed with it. It's such a beautiful gloss. And it's also really, really moisturizing, like really hydrating on the lips. So that has been beautiful and new in. And then as far as like my everyday beauty tools, I have to give a shout out to two of my favorite brushes that you can get on Sephora, the It Cosmetics number no. seven brush. I use this every single day for my base, my face, contour and then the Morphe A14 Makeup by Ariel Collab Brush. These are so good. Use them every, every single day. Concealer and powder, can't recommend them enough. Also a great time to get a beauty blender restock. So this is just a few of my favorites. And I'm looking at this lovely little pile and I'm thinking to myself, dang, my everyday face really takes a village, doesn't it? <laughs> So my friends, that is a lot. But if you were looking to shop anything in the Sephora sale, looking for some top recommendations, some products that are tested, tried, true, loved by yours truly, then that is a very hefty roundup of all of the things that I use and love in the world of Sephora. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my top recommendations. Again, everything will be listed in the description box down below. Please let me know if there are any products that you are loving, anything that you are trying or picking up or looking forward to getting in this year's Sephora savings event. And alternatively, if you are absolutely inundated with product and not shopping anything and using the products that you have, I salute you and I applaud you and I support you as well. I love you all. Thank you so much for being here and for watching and I will see you all very soon for a new video. Bye!